Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Well, it's not really a video tutorial. It's going to be a um, speed painting. Uh, this is a picture of Christian Stewart that I got off the internet. And um, while I recorded it, it's uh, not brilliant. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd uh, post this up, see what you guys thought. Um, well, if you like it, then uh, well, like it. And um, yeah, I might do another one of these. And um, so basically, I'm just going to talk for about eight minutes um, to you guys, and maybe go over what I'm doing in the um, image at the moment. So what I'm doing at the moment is um, I am I'm putting in the uh, light shadows. I put in the dark darkest color, and I'm putting in the um, lightest shadows along with some of the um, light shades of color, uh, like pinks, desaturated reds purples, that kind of stuff. Um, what you're going to see here is the um, the grey uh, outline is a sketch I did in uh, in Photoshop of the um, well the basic outlines of what I thought uh, it looked like and um, so yeah um, you'll see me flicking through and deleting parts as I just try and get a feel of how the lips going to look, how the um, I, for instance, going to look and um, or something along those lines. I'm just going to be flicking um, between on and off on that layer. Um, I, I, know, I think this is a this is um, sped up about four times, and I um, well, I've cut bits out. There's some bits you, you don't need to see as such. Um, well, if you were to see them, it'll be just tiresome where I've started say the hair um, it's gone wrong and I had to redo it so I, I just cut that whole bit out and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the beginning uh, or there's sometimes where I just forgot to um, press record uh, simple as that uh, you know um, I yeah I didn't know what happened uh, it would get to the the maximum length of what I can record at the moment I use a um, program called what program do I use? I use a program called Auto Screen, Reco Screen Recorder and uh, it allows me 2 gig of information at a time so that depends on how much I do on the screen and uh, well, what not so uh, yeah I forgot to record so just then you see me skip that eye because uh, it stopped recording for me but I, I show you the right eye and um, yeah this is basically what I do so I just get a this uh, white is a off white it's got a tinge of blue in and because uh, eyes are rarely white and um, you know I, I thought well yeah I can't just do a white eye and you, you'll see me um, draw my extra outlines in as I as I go through just because my original sketch is done pretty quickly to be honest with you and um, you know it doesn't have all the information in or bits aren't scaled properly and uh, so yeah I need to uh, remake it and um, yeah that's it uh, I, I mean I enjoy doing these Photoshop tutorials I, I really do it's really uh, yeah I, I really love it when I get some feedback from them you know if you guys enjoy it uh, you know it makes me happy uh, I get some satisfaction out of that um, weirdly you know it's, <laughs> it's a bit odd but you know, I get some satisfaction out of um, you learning something. So you know, if if you like it, um, leave a comment. You know, if you want to message me, you know, just send me a message. I will read all you know messages. It doesn't matter how uh, small the question or query is. If you want to just leave me a message, do so. Um, I, know, I haven't. Uh, this is probably the second time I've done a s painting on Photoshop, so I am relatively new to this, um, well, this style of art. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, I compared to painting with proper paints and stuff, whatnot. It's it's got a different feel, as in it's. I believe it's much harder to paint. Like this in certain aspects. Well, one of them is that. You know, on a computer, I can't turn my page round. Um, I have a pretty cheap tablet, 
uh, where, where is it? Um, it's a genius something rather. Uh, a genius. That's what I what I can read. Uh, a pe- i six zero eight pen tablet. So uh, it's got no screen on it. It's just a um, grey board. It's pretty big. I think it's a. Uh, well, I'm not sure how big it is. It's it's uh, big enough for me to work easily with it. But uh, obviously, uh, I am not loaded. Um, I haven't got enough money to buy a tablet that allows me to put everything on screen, and uh, so yeah, that's why I haven't. Well, I, I think it's a bit harder, a bit more awkward, but in essence, the techniques are fairly similar. Um, you know, I, I put the base layer on, I then add shadows and keep adding to those shadows and um, changing it so uh, you know I, I think it's, uh, uh, it's a, I think it's a very interesting technique you can get some really good looking pictures out of it um, here I'm using the natural brush set and this allows me to paint many hairs at the same time I'm pretty lazy like that I, I, I'm not going to paint every single hair at the same time um, yeah it's just a lot. It's a. It gives a nicer effect as well. It's more fluid. You don't get this uh, weird look to it. And um, I think this bit uh, fades out. I'm. I'm not sure. Uh, let, let's just see. Oh, yeah. That's me uh, trying to close my YouTube. <laughs> and I'm just giving. I've done the hair now, and I'm just going to add outlines to it. Uh, as I've said before, I've cut out quite a bit of it. Um, you know, just play about with this. You know, you've got the liquify tool. You can add different. Uh, you know, once you're finished, you can add uh, different elements to a picture that weren't there before. You can move the eye. Well, I think the right eye, I enlarged quite a bit. So you know that allowed me to uh, make it more in proportion. And I essentially with this, I put it onto a transparent layer and put a red background on that. I think the red really does bring it out with the hair. I've uh, added a um, well I changed the levels about a bit that just gave me um, a nicer more fluid looking hair. Yeah I think it it just you know brought the picture it made the picture better than what it was. Um, well I finished and I'm just going to be ta- I'm talking over the picture at the moment which I, I'm sure you don't want. So uh, thank you for watching, if you liked it, leave a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe even, and um, you know, I'll see you next time, next time I put a video out. If you've got any requests, uh, message me, leave a comment, whatever, and I'll try and get a video out teaching you how to do something. If you're not quite sure on how to do anything in this video, you know, give me a, a message and uh, comment and I'll, I'll re- try to reply to it and answer you as best as I can. Other than that, uh, have a good evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. And so yeah, just uh, rate, comment and subscribe.